Hi everyone, I'm here to reboot Skeptico, ready to, anxious to, excited to reboot Skeptico. You know, I took a few months off, for those of you who don't know. It was really great to do. I wasn't sure if I would come back or not, but it seems like everybody who takes a break always comes back, and I'm no exception. Three pivots I see down the road. One is, you know, I've always said this is a show about my journey shared with others. And I guess it's still essentially going to be that, but I'd like to slight pivot to our journey shared with others. What that means to me is an offer to you, which I've made in the past, but I really want to double down on it, an offer for you to get involved in the show. So not just suggesting guests, but pitching me guests, pitching me guests because what they would mean to you and for your development, as well as, you know, fitting into what I'm trying to do on the show. So I think that'd be great. And then if you pitch me the guests, then I'm going to pull you in to be kind of a, an associate producer kind of thing. And then certainly after the show is out, I'd want you to go out and make sure that we connect with anyone we should connect with to get that show out there and make people aware of it. So that's what I have in mind on the pivot from my journey shared to our journey shared. The second point is not so much of a pivot, but a refinement, a, a, a restatement. The show's always been inquiry to perpetuate doubt, and it's going to continue to be. Now, as you know and have experienced, that pisses people off whether you want it to piss people off or not. And I want to do everything I can not to piss people off and be more connected to the spiritual side. We're all going through this kind of thing. At the same time, I don't want to shy away from these conversations that I don't see having out there and the really dealing with the parts of this process that I want to go through. Because to me, inquiry to perpetuate doubt means three things. It means follow the data wherever it leads. But then most importantly, follow the deception wherever it leads. Because invariably, as we found out, there are players that are engaged in deception, either knowingly or not. But we still have to sort out that deception if we're really going to understand what's going on. And then the third is follow the discernment. Well, to me, the whole thing boils down to how do I make the light? How do I make God's light, if you will, shine through me? How would I not get it blocked? How do I become a better person to the people I care about and to my soul and whatever that means? So that's where the discernment comes in, you know, walking up to the abyss, but not falling in. But it also relates to the other two points. If I'm making major life decisions, I want to have the best data I can. And I want to be aware of the deception that may be at play. As you know, we've talked about this on so many issues, but you can imagine all the issues where that comes up. And those are kind of fundamental questions to me to getting to that discernment point. So recapping the second pivot refocus is inquiry to perpetuate doubt means data, deception, and discernment. And the third pivot, refocus, restatement is whatever we do will be enough. Think of what a miracle it is that you're here. I'm here. So that's true on the metaphysical basis of just you are you, you are here. But then even beyond that, that we're here, we're somehow connected. You're listening to me. I'm talking to you. That's a freaking miracle. No question about it. So I'm enough of a non-dual guy to be unsure about whether doing even matters at all. And I certainly don't think God needs our help with uh, Skeptico. But I do continue to have a desire to speak, to get my voice out there. And I need to follow that because I also appreciate that non-doing is doing too. Not taking action is preventing action from happening. So we're in the soup as I see it. So we're going to have to figure it out. And that's something I guess we'll, we'll figure out together, but that's my thinking on that. And then finally, with regard to this point, and it's just meaningful to me, but I'm playing the game, but I'm not letting the game play me. There are other things in life that are more important. A lot of other things. And the main thing that's most important is just life. Just appreciating the joy of not thinking of going down on the beach with the dog that you saw on the cover photo who just lights up everyone because the love wants to shine through. And sometimes we see things like my dog, Freddie, and it just somehow 
flows through all the blocks and the light shines through and I see it in other people's faces and I see it in children's faces and I even see it myself. So I'm going to play the game, but I ain't going to let the game play me. Stick around. There's a lot more Skeptico to come, but even more than sticking around, jump in. We'll have fun together. It's a small club. You can jump in and have a piece of it. We can all have a piece of it together. So if you feel down to do that, jump in, join me. If not, stick around for the ride. That's okay too. But in either case, till next time, take care and bye for now.